826, welcome back to the show. And since we're talking about men on this Man Day Monday, I thought it'd be good to learn about some manly behavior. And I don't mean shotgunning beers, drinking, or even tuning up a car. I'm talking specifically about gentlemanly behavior. And of course, to help that, because let's face it, <laughs> uh, me, Gerald Glasscock from the Southern Institute of Etiquette and Protocol joins us. And first, Gerald, something we talked about on Good Day last week, um, the use of the four-letter word, that is not something a gentleman does, right? Not so much. <laughs> They're gone. Not so much. Yeah. So uh, the, there are certain things that the guys are gentlemen, and I say guys are guys, you know, playing football and got a helmet on, but then gentlemen. <clears throat> well, there's a few things that that everyone do. can do to change themselves. Sure. You know, don't interrupt. Okay. You know, that's yeah, a, sure. Yeah, I, I get you. No. Big, yeah. I, I'll, I'll get you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> no, that's true. Let somebody finish with thought, right? Yeah. Because no matter what you have to say, it can work. Okay, fair enough. And if you interrupt, then it's going to make somebody else a little bit irritated at you, and then all of a sudden they start coming out with some of the manly things that they do as well. Shut up! All right, you know, go on. They'll start pointing. Ah, don't point. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Look here. Yeah, even, nah, don't point. Really? Even, how, do, how would I direct you to, to the screen, and what would you suggest I do? Oh, so don't point, but direct. Right. Yeah. Vanna White it, if you will. Because if you, if you point, I mean, this is one of the most negative things you can do. Okay. You know, you might as well just pull out your gun. Sure. Okay. All, All right. right. So no pointing. You don't interrupt. Yeah, and don't laugh at other expense. Okay. You know, it's like, ha, I laugh at your tie. It's not as dark a blue as mine. I know. Sorry. Oh. Because remember the toothpaste, you know. Uh, that's right. The, to oh. the toothpaste analogy, Gerald's toothpaste analogy, once you squeeze it out, you can't put it back in. Yeah, no matter how hard you try. There you go. Yeah. All right, so these are the things you can't do as a gentleman. Gerald, what are some things that a gentleman should do? Open the door for ladies. Isn't that, uh, isn't that kind of uh, old school? Not so much. Really? Yeah. You still want to go in and open a door. The only time that you let a go before a lady mm -hmm. is during a revolving door. Okay, and you yeah. and why do you do that then? Is there is there a reason, or is it just kind of etiquette? Well, sometimes the doors are, are really hard to push, and I so see. you want to make sure that that they're able to get so through. So if and it, don't it get locks stuck. up, because inevitably it locks up, and you smack yourself in the face like a like a jaybird, right? right? Yeah. All right, so give me two more quick ones. What two more? Okay, uh, two more. Give up your seat to a lady. Okay. All right. What uh, about to a guy? Do you have to if a guy walks in? Do you be like, sir, uh, unless he's like an old guy in office? Yeah, you could if it's an old guy, then sure. Sure. Okay. Um, help a lady with her wrap. You know her her. You know, outer garment, uh, right. you know, a coat or sweater or something. Just put it on. That's being gentlemanly. Right. The art of being a man. There you go. Don't curse. Don't spit. Don't interrupt. Don't laugh at others' expenses. But you do open the door for a lady. You do help with coach. You do stand up when someone enters the room. And you do give up your seat. But not your tickets. But not <laughs> you hang on to your tickets. Joe Glasscock, the Southern Institute of Etiquette and Protocol. Thank you as always. Uh, my friend, I appreciate your information. Thirteen. There we are, being a gentleman, not just a man, but a gentleman today here in Good Day. And Amazon's making a large donation. Why it might be seen as a direct jab at one fast food chain. More details coming up on your Consumer Watch. It's 820.